yes my people what's good welcome back to the vlog how are we all doing hopefully we're on 20,000 subscribers by the time this video is out but if we're not please make sure you hit that subscribe button we're so close to 20k if we're not on 20k already by this is out from the analytics of my videos 40 50 percent of you guys watching them aren't subscribed so if you want to see my journey if you want to see what real hard work looks like to try and make it to the top and follow my journey along hit that subscribe button as well make sure you follow my instagram okay because if any of you guys have any questions queries anything like that um you can drop me a message on there i go live on instagram quite a lot so you guys can ask me questions i interact with you guys as well and i do reply to quite a lot of dms as well on there we're trying to hit 10,000 followers on there as well we're like 4,000 off we're pretty far but i feel like if all of you went over there and done that i want to see how quickly we can do it so Let's get over there, follow my Instagram, subscribe, and help your boy out. Boom. We've got our morning shake, nutritional shake, and we've got our herbal tea and our little unicorn cup, as you can see. This is gonna give me all the nutrients I need to start the day, and the herbal tea has loads of nutritional benefits as well. All right, guys, so we've actually got quite a big day coming up. Yesterday I had a rest day because it was Sunday for me, so it is a fresh week. It's Monday, so whenever you see this video, you can tell how like delayed the videos are. Um, so it's a fresh week, big day to start the week. We've got a 5K run, which we're gonna be doing soon. We're gonna be doing a football session. We're gonna be doing some stuff in the garden. We're gonna be doing upper body. We're gonna be doing abs core it's going to be heavy on the body today that's what you want to do keeping ourselves busy staying active grinding all right guys so we've got the headband on it's a little bit windy out here let me not lie it's sunny but it's a bit windy it's the most dreadful part of the day the 5k run we're absolutely dying at the end of it i'm gonna set my watch we're gonna set the time all right so i've actually just said yeah i'm gonna set my watch and series like replied to me and said for how long but we're gonna do the run now. Um, I had a rest day yesterday, so I don't know how my legs are gonna feel for the run today, uh, but hopefully it's good, but yeah. All right guys, so we just finished the 5K. Obviously, as you can see, I've got a sweat on. We've done this one today in 19. If I'm being honest with you guys, yesterday, uh, I wasn't feeling too well, if I'm being honest. Like my stomach was feeling a bit weird. I don't know if that's because I've done too much abs or I've eaten something that's a bit funny. But today I can feel it a little bit like in my stomach. I, didn't, I don't really push myself to the dark, dark limit that I usually do. I still got it in 19 minutes, which is really, really good considering. Oh. Considering I could still do that run in 19 minutes a bit more comfortably, that's a really good sign. So, another 5k ticked off. So, if you were watching the last vlog, I don't know if you can remember, but I was showing like, like, where, I, like where I grew up, like my childhood, my childhood house and things like that. And this is like, so where I am now is like the other side of that hill. So, the goals are up there and I'm down the other end of the hill where like, all the woods are and that. This bit here is like perfect for like hill sprints and that. Alright guys, so I've just got home and I'm actually about to cook up some chicken. I'm doing some batch cooking right now. Uh, as you can see, I've got a load of chicken on there. Got some chicken on there too. So I'm going to whack that in the oven on like gas mark 7 for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to season it all up, boys. Don't worry. I'm not one of them guys who so don't season my chicken. You'll see. I'll, I'll spice up a bit. A bit of pepper, a salt, a Caribbean jerk. That's what we do. The garlic and herb seasoning. A little bit of basil just to finish it off. Funnily enough, some people just stop there with that, just put salt and pepper on and then bang it in the oven. If you are one of them people, please click off this video. Like, that is shambolic. Put a bit of Caribbean bits on there. Put it all over. Boom. Alright guys, so, this is our chicken. All lovely and seasoned and ready to go. Alright guys, so now throughout the week, my meal prep's done, uh, or over the next few days at least. All I've got to do is make, make up some rice, some green beans with it as well. I can put some spinach in there as well. But yeah. Alright guys, so just chefed up some chicken and rice. This chicken is actually from what I prepped earlier on in the week. I could have just made up the rice and the green beans. Really easy to do. Rice is something, if you haven't done it before, you kind of just like need to work it out for yourself. And I've got some like frozen green beans that you can get from the supermarkets. You can literally just throw the frozen green beans in with the rice and it defrosts and it's perfect. And it's a lot cheaper and convenient as well than buying like green beans that are already like fresh, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, we're gonna eat this up now. We're gonna re-energize. It's gonna help us recover. Obviously, we've got our other food that we need to sort out, prep that up, put that into boxes. I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then we're gonna go get a football session done. All right, guys, so you probably can't hear me, but it's hella windy out here right now. We've got all the footballs. We're gonna do a football session. If you're already 
the UK has got bipolar, it's either really nice and sunny, or it's sunny and windy, or it's raining. It's horrible, it's annoying. I hope you enjoy it. I'm trying to do this so it's not windy and that, but as you can see, nice little close up of my ears. So the wind does actually keep blowing over the camera, so I'm going to try and get as much footage as I can, but if I can't, I'm sorry. If you can't really hear me right now, I'm sorry as well. I'm now going to get into some shooting on my right foot and left foot. focusing on that connection and shooting and trying to whip it far corner. just got home from football i actually had some rice left over from earlier and obviously the cooked chicken that we made um i'm just having that now because i'm quite hungry because that was quite a good session it was out there for about an hour and 10 minutes we've got a nutty bar here as well just to help re-energize some more extra protein or fibers in there too yeah we're gonna munch this up and then i'm gonna chill for like a little bit let my food go down and i'm gonna do an upper body and core session all right guys so it's that time of the day about five o'clock right now we're in our own little multi gym under around there this is the little gym i have i've got like tricep pull downs i can put like a pull up bar there as well i've got a bench press i've got a leg press down here i've got a bicep curler as well so i've got quite a few things in here we can get like a good little circuit out of it so i'm pretty lucky i'm gonna do like an all-round sort of upper body circuit today bench press uh flies um tricep pull downs bicep curls pull ups and lateral pull downs so it's going to be a good sesh let's get on with it come on baby 10 for 10 but we're on Ooh. 
light work. Guys, so I just finished like seven sets of that. These supplements that I'm on that I'm keeping a secret right now are really helping me because like there's no way if I wasn't having these supplements I'd be able to get this many sets and reps in. It's crazy. But now I'm gonna do some arms. I'm gonna do like bicep pulls, tricep pull downs, and I'm gonna also do like something outside that I'll show you as well. All right, actually, just before I do arms, I'm actually gonna do my pull ups and my lateral pull downs. I said just because pull ups are a bit harder. Um, if I do my arms before I do my pull ups. I'll be struggling a bit. Do my pull ups first and my lateral pull downs um, as a superset, and then I'm going to move on to my arms. just finished my session it was actually 75 minutes long that was a fat sesh let me not lie my arms are killing i've just had a protein shake um but yeah i'm just gonna rest for a little bit it's currently 20 past 7 at night it's been a long day and we're gonna do some core in about 20 minutes so after we've done that we can finally chill out but we're not finished yet the long days they're gonna pay off the grind is real all right guys so the last bit of the day we're gonna do our core now it's about quarter past eight because i had loads of problems with like my footage and stuff i was trying to upload onto the computer things were going wrong i was losing my head just wish that i could just click my fingers and all the editing would be done all that side of it is annoying but it is what it is we're gonna do our core session now on abs Alright guys, so I'm going to do another like two sets of that. So like one more set, if you know what I'm saying. So it's like two sets continuous uh, with no break in between. So that was a, that was like an 11 minute set of core. But yeah, that's what we do. Whoa, we're dripping boys. Hey, that was a crazy session. Big cool workout. Guys, like abs and core is so like underrated. Being strong from like the inside out. Because I'm quite small compared to other players. So if I have like, if I'm really strong and I've got a strong center of gravity, um, it's really going to benefit me. And your core is like what pulls everything together. You guys, want to keep your body in good condition. Make sure your core is strong. Um, you're keeping that in good condition. And obviously, good for the girls as well, innit boys? Boys, it's that time of the day. We get to fill up. Um, so, I'll show you what I've got. So this is what we're dealing with, boys. Some chicken and a little light bit of mayo on top. Um, a little bit of rice and green beans. And over here, for Arthur's, we have rice cakes and peanut butter. So, yeah, that's a naughty little combo we've got there. But I think, guys, I'm going to end the vlog there. So I appreciate all you boys that checked into the vlog. I think we may be at 20,000 subscribers when this video is out. Right now looking, we're only like 70 off. So... I appreciate everybody that that's it, that subscribe button checking into the vlogs. Um, I love you all. I'm going to munch this up. Guys, like I said, this is what real hard work looks like. It's now 9.15 and it's like the only time of the day I've got to really rest and relax and chill now. So yeah, stay positive, stay grinding, and I'll see you in the next one.